Well, let's understand DC shunt generator voltage buildup. How does a DC generator seemingly from nothing begin to produce voltage? Here is the equivalent circuit of a DC shunt generator. Notice the armature and field windings connected in parallel. Now, let's consider the initial conditions before voltage buildup. Initially, the machine is at rest, meaning the armature EMF is zero and the field current is zero. However, there's one critical factor. A small amount of residual flux still exists in the field poles from previous operation. When we rotate the armature at a constant speed, the conductors cut through this initial small residual flux. This small voltage causes a tiny current to flow through the shunt field winding. Ooh, this field current, in turn, strengthens the magnetic field flux in the poles. This creates a powerful positive feedback loop. More flux means more induced EMF. More EMF means more field current. And more field current creates even more flux. This rapid, self-reinforcing process is called voltage buildup. The magnetization curve illustrates this. As field current increases, so does the generated EMF. This buildup continues until the iron core of the generator reaches magnetic saturation. At this point, increasing the field current no longer significantly increases the flux. The generator settles at a stable terminal voltage determined by the intersection of the magnetization curve and the field resistance line. So, the voltage buildup relies on three key factors. Residual magnetism, armature rotation, and the regenerative action of the shunt field. And that's how a DC shunt generator self-excites and builds up its own voltage. Thanks for watching.